Please note that this video contains spoilers. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry. I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Matthias thoughts. Now, I would like to start with just one or two ponderings on the, the setups. Setups, not setups, for Alien in this movie. We see the, the, what is it they call it, the, the pilot or something in, in Alien. I'm not going to be spoiling Alien in this. And, you know, we, yeah, basically we have, you know, we, we see how the, the giant, let's call him, I'm going to refer to him as the engineer, or the, the species as the engineers. We see the engineer in there, and it's, you know, it's a spacecraft, and as it turns out, it's, you know, yeah, it's, it's a giant human being who was up there piloting a spacecraft. And, yeah, since he then left, I guess it was just a different spacecraft that they get onto with, in, in Alien. Because the giant engineer, the, the engineer body, is still there. So, yeah. But then at the end of this, we see the, not quite alien, but close, emerge from the engineer's body. So, yeah, I, I, know, I can't quite figure out if it's supposed to be... It's, it's clearly taking place in the same universe. You know, we've got Mr. Wayland. I thought it was, you know, I, I was surprised that he wasn't dead, and I thought that Guy Pierce did a phenomenal acting job there, and I thought it was uh, quite interesting to have this, you know, sort of, at the end of the day, he just wants to go on living, you know, he's, he's being selfish. He wants eternal life, and that's why he, you know, she wants answers, or both of them want answers, but she wants knowledge, and he just wants, you know, to, to go on existing, because he, he is in a position that he enjoys. He doesn't want it to end, which is a very human thing. You know, I'm, I'm not saying he's alone in that, I did, but, you know, it is, it is selfish, you know, you... You, you, like she says, you know, a king reigns for a while, and then, you know, the next, I, I really like how that scene ended with her saying, yeah, okay, dad, you know, or father, I think she said father, yeah, that was quite nice, and, and the bit about, you know, what you thought I was going to stay back home and have, you know, all these fights about who was in charge, because he didn't want to leave her in charge. He could have, but he's not willing to accept it, and it's, it is an insane risk they take enough, <coughs> excuse me, and yeah, it's, suddenly the engineer starts attacking them, you know. Now, I did wonder about, I don't remember at the moment, so what I will talk about is the brilliant scene that just honestly if if they thought of this one scene and then said you know what we should write an alien prequel around this scene I'd be okay with that when 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 she finds out when Numi finds out that there there is an alien inside her three months old apparently and she you know she Sarah Connors it pretends you know, she's and then <laughs> knocks them both out 
gets into the... I mean, you knew that that thing was going to be used for something. In my wildest imagination, I don't think I would have thought that that was how it was going to be used. You know, you knew that the, the, the operating unit thing was going to be... It was keeping him alive, maybe. Or was it just for her? Or maybe she, she got that perk because she's the boss's son. Or, anyway, I like how the, the closest thing I have to a son, and then you see her face, and you don't, maybe don't pick up on her right away, but yeah, you know, that's harsh. You know, a daughter isn't good enough for that bastard. Anyway, yeah, so you have the... Yes, the, the you know, she, she runs into the thing and it says, you know, oh, it's made for a male. It must have been what's keeping him alive if it was made for a male. Anyway, whatever. And she says, you know, okay, just you know, cut me open. And she gets into it and it starts cutting her open and you get the forceps thing. And, you know, she stabs herself with the needle to, you know, dull the pain. With the, you know, with the tranquilizer thing, or paint or something like that. And it pulls it out and you see the umbilical cord and it just explodes and all the liquid goes... And it just staples her stomach together and she's struggling to get out of there and she it's you know, decontaminated. And then later it's still alive. That's really freaky. But yeah, you know, the alien is phenomenally difficult to kill. Now, yes, that, that entire scene, you know, with, with her having her stomach cut open and stapled shut, you know, something removed and st stapled shut, that's, that's not something we've seen in the other Alien movies. And it's actually a fantastic image because it's, that's, that's gonna haunt me forever, you know, and that's, yeah. Very nicely done. I don't know if that was Lindelof or Scott or who exactly thought of that, but kudos. That's that that was very smart. And and I feel personally, feel free to disagree. I feel that it does tread that balance. I don't think it's to the point where it's like just excessively grotesque and disgusting. You know, it's I don't know. You know, personally. I don't think that I, I think it's it's on the very verge of being too much, but it just it it hits it finds that balance just perfectly. Now the one th scene I, I talk about in the review there's that one scene where it's just kind of confusing, you know, the, I th what was it, Milburn? Something like that. Yeah the red-haired uh, punker dude, he comes back and he's been, you know, something has happened to him because of the, I guess the black organic fluid, excuse me, from the vases, excuse me, basically, yeah, made him, excuse me, extremely strong and He's now attacking these scientists and the crew, and yeah, that entire scene, it was like, oh, there's another guy, there's another crew member, they were just kind of coming out of the woodwork, and I couldn't really figure out how in danger the ship was, and how, yeah, I, that, that's really my only big problem with that scene, otherwise I, I, I quite like the scene. I just didn't feel like I could get a proper grip of how, yeah. Now, the, let me think. I don't know what the opening means. I, I will blankly admit that I, I couldn't quite figure out. I guess he took some of the organic killer fluid thing and then he dies and yeah, I don't know, I didn't really and I, I wasn't sure where it was even taking place. That was very lost, you know. Some someone who I don't know is doing something that I don't understand at a point in time that I don't know what is. Yeah.
Thanks, Lindelof. Thanks. We have... I like the self-sacrifice to, you know, protect Earth there at the end with the, you know, the really it's too bad that the trailers gave it away. I mean, I, I didn't remember that from the trailers before, before it happened, basically, in the film. So I was lucky like that. Sometimes I have a very selective memory. But yeah, I, I quite liked, you know, and I liked the sort of running thing with two assistant pilots, whatever, with, uh, you know, I bet, you know, 100 credits that, by the way, I am totally down for those 100 credits going to, okay, by the end of the movie she's dead, but before that point, paying 100 credits for a lap dance from Charlie Stanton's character, that would totally be worth it. But yes, the, you know, that, that thing about, you know, you're too bad of a pilot, you know, and I need our help, you know, that thing, you know, they're not gonna abandon ship, you know. He gives them the option, but then they say, I mean, it's cliche, but I just felt it worked. I rather like the the imagery in this, you know, the the space penis that comes out of the black organic liquid at Milburn and the other guy, the biologist. You know, I mean, to tell me that's not a space penis. <laughs> I don't know why he calls so she, though. He might have issues. Yeah. And then, you know, there, near the end, you've got an engineer being you know, pulled towards the Venus flower, the vagina dentata kind of thing. That's you know, not bad. And, you know, just devoured kind of thing. And then, you know, we have the sort of alien, you know, breaking out of his stomach, but it's now an actually adult alien. And it's clearly not quite the alien that we know. It's, it's, there, there are some notable differences. For instance, I noticed the, the tongue with the chomp thing, yeah. Was a bit different, or did sort of, yeah, yeah, it's, but yeah, I, I don't quite know what that means, because if there's only one of them, then they can't really make... At first I thought it was going to be an alien queen, and then that would sort of explain that whole thing, but... Yeah, I don't know. Then again, has Ridley Scott actually confirmed that he accepts aliens as part of the canon? Because in the original cut, you now the alien queen might not be from might not exist in his continuity, actually, now that I think about it. The... One thing I will say, as someone who enjoys the movie Alien and has watched it before watching this movie, I could sort of see where, you know, I mean, by the end of this film, you kind of feel like, ah, so, you know, now I know some more of what's going on in Alien. I'm really glad they didn't retcon the crap out of it. You know, that would have been really bad. Maybe it was just still reeling from MIV-3. But, yeah. <sighs> you know, you, you now know about the... the jockey. I think it's called, they, they call it the jockey, so something, to, space jockey, that's it. You know, I don't know about the space jockey. I thought that maybe, you know, when, when David talks about there are other ships, I thought that that was going to be the distress signal, that they send out a distress signal to, for a human ship, and then it only gets there. Like, one thing I don't understand, if that is the same planet that they land on, why no you know, remnants of the, what's it called, the, the pod. I'm pretty sure we don't see any, I guess they don't spend that much time on the planet, I don't remember, but anyway.
Yeah, I... If I hadn't watched Alien, is what I'm getting at, I don't think I would have felt that this was a complete movie. I don't know, I just feel like... Yeah, it's not quite like, I don't know, creature feature kind of thing. Yeah, it's not quite... I mean, if you watch Alien, if you don't watch any of the sequels, if you just watch Alien... I mean, it's a great one, but it's basically kind of a creature feature, you know? You, you, you pay to just see an alien creature, and yeah, that's what you get. And in this, it's just kind of... You see, well, you you know, you have the, the fetus thing that ends up breeding the, you know, creating the alien. You have the, the engineers, which are basically humans, just giant and white. And... Yeah, you got the space penis thing, you got... Yeah, that's, that's just kind of it. You have a bunch of different... I also was a little confused. Was it basically... I mean, the, the thing that gets into the male scientist's system. That came from one of the bosses. Did the space penis thing also come from the boss? That came from like the black thing, but the black stuff came from the bosses. I don't know, how many different biological weapons were in those bosses? You know, it just seems like you know, maybe have sort of picked one and stick to the, stuck, stuck to that one, but yeah. And then we do kind of have this thing of the android, or at least, you know, the, the corporate bad guy kind of thing, trying to get an alien specimen back to Earth, or back to base, whatever, back to the company, via infection and or someone maybe in stasis, stuff like that. We've kind of already seen that in, in, in Alien movies, and yeah, it just, it can't be shocking anymore, you know, it's, again, love the, you know, open stomach, fetus comes out, you can't explain that scene, but, yeah, I just felt like some of the things were just kind of repeats, and, yeah. Again, like I said in the review, I'm not blaming them. I don't think there are that many good ideas left to get from this basic idea and this basic this this concept in this franchise. Now, the but but yes, you know, I I'm not saying that I would have preferred that we get an answer as to why they were trying to why the engineers changed their mind and wanted to kill us, and you know find out exactly about it. and I like the, the twist that this is not their home world, this is, you know, like a military installation. I'm just saying, I don't feel like it really did deliver something other than set up for a movie that the people have hopefully already seen. I don't think this is going to satisfy people who watch it completely independently of Alien, which, I don't know, I, I guess we just hope that that's not too many, and I know a lot of people love aliens, so, I don't know, I guess that was basically the idea. I just don't think that, I personally think that any movie, any, any story, should be able to stand entirely on its own, even if it is meant as a companion piece, but, yeah. And I, I enjoyed the exploration of, you know, why exactly is it so important to us that we, you know, know where we come from? And, you know, again, very losty, you have the faith versus science kind of thing, you know. When they find, you know, the, the, the dichotomy is very nicely sort of personalized in the to the, the couple, the, the scientists. He is completely destroyed. He's, you know, he basically says, excuse me, that's not what he says, he says, this is just another tomb. But she is hopeful and continues, you know, it is that kind of, I mean, he was expecting to get the answers right then and there. He is, he is a scientist. He is, 
you know, thinking concrete answers or it's not worth anything, basically. And she is just driven by this curiosity. Yeah, you know, it's maybe a little, I don't know, maybe a little too black and white, I don't know. But I, I thought they did a good job of ex exploring that and yeah. And, and, you know, David, I, I like that they actually gave the android something to do. It wasn't just, there's an android in this movie because it's an alien movie, you know, I, let's be honest. That has kind of happened in the series, but with this one, I mean, he, he says some things that a human maybe wouldn't say kind of thing, you know, you have the, him point out you know, I mean, he, he, you know, provokes the answer, you know, we made you because we could. And then he says, what if that's what your maker tells you? Wouldn't you be disappointed? And, yeah, this, this kind of thing, you know, because that is kind of, you know, we, we want there to be a purpose. We, we want to, to matter. It's, it's vital to us humans that we matter, and it's, it is interesting to try to dig deep and say, well, why is that so important to us, you know? So, I, I quite appreciate it that the film was doing that. I suppose that's more or less it. I like that he was willing to, that the professor guy, doctor guy, was willing to sacrifice himself. You know, he literally ran into the fire of, of Miss Vickers, you know. I thought that was, you know, a good, a good moment. I did, th that was actually something that bothered me about this movie. He's a scientist, and he knows how dangerous this, all this stuff is. And still, you know, he sees, you know, ah, something's living on my eye, and, and he, you know, okay, we have to go on a mission. Oh, uh, sure, okay. And then once they're there, you know, it waits to all the way in to the, the you know, dangerous, creepy cavern, and then he's like, oh, hey, wait, is there something wrong with my eye? Be honest. Dude, you know, that was just... <laughs> hmm. Actually, maybe he wanted to... You know what? On second thought, maybe he wanted to get out of the ship so that he wouldn't infect the others. Maybe. Yeah. I'm 50-50 I'm on it right now. But, yeah. I accept that as a viable theory, actually. Now that I think about it. I suppose that pretty well covers it. Yeah, that. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.